All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to another one of my favorite things to look at. That is a box. That's right, we have one of these with us here today. I'm happy to present it to you. Um, what's in it, I'm not sure, but you probably have some idea of what's in it by now, given away by the video title and the thumbnail. Um, there is, as you can see here, some Chinese characters on the front, which I use the like Google Live Translate uh, app to try to translate it. And it mostly didn't work. It mostly translated uh, like words from stuff in the background would pop up uh, in very like weird, suspicious ways that made me uncomfortable. Like it, I had, anyways, I think this says United States, but if anyone really knows, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's open it. What is it? It says print pen. It seems like a pretty nice, well-made box, you know, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's nice. I've, I've had cheaper boxes. What is this? Packaging? Let's pop one for good measure. These aren't satisfying pops. Okay, we have a couple of bottles here. One says fixer spray and one says bottle. I think, if, I think it says it's supposed to say spray bottle, but this is not a spray bottle. Maybe this is a, oh, this goes into here. I just probably just supposed to pour the other one. This looks like something that has something that has leaked in transit. Is it okay to touch this? I'm hoping it's ink. I put that I put that in the biohazard waste bin just in case. Oh, oh. This is the cleaner of the two. The more clean, I mean. It says tattoo ink. Should I try to open this? And sure enough, it says red ink. I'd say it's like more pinkish or purplish, uh, if you'd ask me, but maybe it's just... Uh, uh, I mean, all right, here's the, the actual box, the print pen. We can get it open. It's a snug fit. Oh. Here's a, like a charging cable. I don't, they told me they were sending this, but I don't really know what it is. It's in here very snug. Okay, it's also larger than I expected, which is okay. Is this, this one's not labeled, whether it's, I guess it's blue. That makes sense. So, I mean, there, I guess we've noticed one potential reoccurring problem in that they don't ship too well, huh? I'm trying to just, I mean, I haven't read any of the instructions. I didn't really see any instructions, but I'm just kind of, kind of pop. Pop this sucker in here in whatever way seems to make sense. I'm guessing this is like an ink cartridge. Hmm. 
Wait. Wait, so this is the part that writes, I guess. This, I guess it's like a pen and this part writes, but how does it... Um, It's like indented. It's in. Doesn't it need to come out? Okay. I guess for instructions, there is a app download link. Okay. I think I downloaded that app already. There is a instruction video. And a tattoo instruction video. I just want some paper instructions. You know, I, just, I don't want to have to watch a video for everything. Who even likes videos? I'm gonna press this button. I mean, the, the pen looks pretty pretty so far. I've kind of gave it a, let's see if I run my finger over this. So ink does come out of this. What does this do though? What is this wheel? What I want to happen is I want to turn this and then this, this like comes out a little bit so I can like write on stuff or something. Oh, that's how it tells what's going by. I should have a piece of paper to test it on. Paper? Paper, piece of, anyone? Getting printer ink on everything. I guess I need to take a, a pause in this video to charge the pen. I will charge it now, okay? This can't take more than a minute or two. Plus there's a fire engine coming by. It's a good time to take a break. I'll be back soon, okay? All right. All right, we're back. It's been about all right, we're back. Um, I have washed my hands, by the way, very thoroughly. And this is on here to stay. So I have to be very sure as I continue with this activity that I do not touch my face. Cause I feel like I will, <laughs> sorry, I've been eating chips also. I feel like it will be on my face for a long time if I do that. Also, I wanted to say I, uh, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, uh, I took a nap. Um, well, I took a 30 minute nap and then I took another 30 minute nap and uh, somewhere uh, in that time, uh, these there's like some lights right here, five lights that go boop, 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 uh, as I plug, had it plugged in. And in some, at some point during that time in the hour and 45 minutes when we were waiting, it stopped, which I guess means it's fully charged now. Now I'm gonna try pressing this button Now I will try pressing this. Do I have to hold it down, you think? Is it on? There's no lights, no nothing. I don't know. <sighs> that was the magical button press. Okay, as you can see here, even after all of that, it kind of, by the way these lights are blinking, I kind of feel like I only have it charged partially. Maybe this, maybe this is more of a sign signification of like how full the ink cartridge is, which I feel like also should be full, but then again, some of it has leaked out. Um, I don't know. So there's these lights blinking, which could mean something. And now I think I need to, uh, I think I need to get it connected to my the phone app, which I'll try to do now. Connect hotspots, bind connections. After, oh, after press button five times continuous, hear a beep, the first light on, the second and third light blink. Oh, okay, it's supposed to blink like that. All right, everything is going according to plan. Please connect phone Wi-Fi to Evbot XXXX. Oh, this is one of those things where I have to unconnect from my Wi-Fi and connect to the phone's Wi-Fi, which is a little bit annoying, but I've seen this before. Don't worry. All right, the Evbot Wi-Fi is there. It wants a password. Let's see if uh, I can find a password to use. Oh, password is 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attempting to connect. Connected. So you look. Uh, connecting. <gasps> Do you guys see this? Uh, can I draw? Okay, so it looks like you can scroll along inches. Text. Enter text. Hello. Hello, everyone. Smiley face. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, I want to, like... Well, I guess we should we could just try that and then I'll figure it. It says my battery level is at 83%. Print. Is this the print button? Image received, it says it beeped. Do I do I go now? How do I make it go? Nothing's happening. I'm afraid if I like look at it too close, it'll like spurt out in my eyes or something. I think I should press this button. Say I'm ready. Okay, that was a little bit magical actually. It's like mirrored backwards, upside down, but it did it, and very instantly actually. I want, all right, I want to be able to draw. All right, guys, how do I delete this? If I could figure out how to delete this, um, trash, oops. Confirm. I just want to... Is there no way to just like draw on the canvas? <gasps> I can use a photo. I haven't been taking a lot of selfies recently. I'll take a selfie really quick, all right? Let's see here. Oh wait, am I getting the ink in my hair? Okay. Then I'll open it in the app and we'll see if we can print it. I don't even know if this is what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, look at that. Can I make it bigger? It can change how exposed it is. This is the brightness. I think this is like the contrast. Brightness and contrast. That's interesting. Gallery. Cartoon, festival, happiness. I would try to add a rose. All right, so it's thinking really hard about adding a rose. Thinking really hard. funny. It's locked up. Let me just try to print this. Is it ready? Does that mean it's... Last time I sent, tried to print it, sent. All right, so right now it's just kind of a stamp. It's kind of a magical stamp. Is this, is this like a laser printer? Is that what's going on? I don't really know how printing technology works. I can't, I can't update it. Continuous printing, ooh, yes. Horizontal. 
to. It's not, okay. I don't think it's updating it. It's not sending it to the pen, you know? Save. Now will it send? Let me try now. It's not very continuous. It's not updating for some reason. I mean, the pen is working, but I'm gonna try it on the back of my hand. I know it's not, there's like specific tattoo ink, but y'all ready for this? You ready for this? Boom, boom, boom. Huh. That was totally painless. Do you guys see the ink shoot out? Y'all look very, look very closely, okay? As I, as I do it onto the, my, the palm of my hand. Is this still backwards? Maybe I'm supposed to do it the other way. <gasps> I was just doing it the wrong way. Now it's actually legible. It's still upside down. That's my fault for it being backwards. I'm holding it backwards. I was rolling it backwards and holding it upside down. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Have I confused myself here? How did I get one that was correct and now I'm getting it all wrong? Now if I go this way, it should be right. But I also want it to be right side up. I figured it out. Hello, everybody. All right, so this is how you're supposed to hold it. And you're supposed to go from right to left. Perfect. Hello, everyone. <sighs> now I just gotta figure out how to make it update from the app. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect. I'm gonna add my photo again. My photo. Tweak the setting so it's just right. Save. Con cover. All right, so it should be updated. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Wait, I forgot how to hold it. All right, like this. You ready? This is the next thing. Look at that. I, I want that on my hand. How can, it's not continuous though, but maybe like, maybe it's cause like the the scale is very long, you know? I mean, it takes a long time to get to the end of it. For it to be continuous. I'm trying to get to the end of it. According to this, it's like... A hundred centimeters long? What is that, a meter? I don't think I went that long. Let's see if it'll update again. Hey. Save, cover. All right, it updated this time. Prime it, print it. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I would like it more. I guess if you want to print something that you have drawn, you have to upload it in here. And you can do like a very tiny, long version of it, right? Hey, I should do that real quick. If I put it in my phone and then put it in here, like a scanned version of one of my drawings, that could look awesome. 
All right, so I did it. So as you can uh, as you can see here, I've put a series of uh, six six scanned images here. Um, you could I put them all in. Only annoying thing I really ran into is that, like once you've put one in, you can't go back and edit the previous picture. At least not that I could figure out how to uh, without deleting it and going back to it. You know, because you can use these things, these sliders to edit. You know, the brightness and contrast. And if you press this button, you can rotate them and change the and zoom which I might have just zoomed that one a little bit by accident. Maybe not, okay, it looks all right. Anyway, so I'm gonna to try to print this now. That's not a good sign. It should have beeped, right? Let's do a test print. Did not update. I went to a lot of work lining all these up, Mr. Update, please. I'm gonna go back and then Come forward again. It says disconnected device for cancel. No, I don't want to. I want you to update. Save. Now update. Cancel. Update. I'll try printing this backwards just for good measure. That's what I look like the other way. Now you know. If this works, if I can get this to work, I will pop the tattoo cartridge in there and tattoo my forearm with my own art with this thing. That would be awesome. But I want, it has to, this has to work. You think if I just press it a bunch of times, all my problems will be solved eventually? Okay, now pressing it doesn't do anything. Uh. I'm having a hard time accepting the reality of the fact that I need to redo it all. All right, just give me a second. I'll redo it. I'll do it. I'll redo it all. So, I mean, I will mention to you while right now while I'm doing this that so far this thing, it is pretty cool. It's a novel idea, but it does seem, as a printer pen, it does seem like more printer than pen. Right, I mean, it's it's more pen sized than most printers, sure, but it doesn't do, uh, you know, a lot of the pen things that most pens can do. It mostly does printer things. I feel like what it could be very useful for is being like a very overly complicated label maker. If you need to just put labels on anything, just go around beeping, booping zip zapping your laser printer labels on anything that could be very cool but i don't really put labels on things um but like as an artistic tool maybe you could carry it around with you if you wanted to like put you know like put your tag on you know on like a fire hydrant you just walk around <laughs> lasered you know i don't know I'm just, i mean obviously i probably haven't figured out all the different cool ways you could use this but i'm still gonna I mean, if i'm gonna sit down and draw a piece of art i, I can't really use this pen because it's not really like a pen, it's just, you just kind of hold it like one. You know what I'm saying? I will, I will admit I was a little bit, I was a, a little bit very impressed uh, the first time it printed on the paper, so effortlessly, so magically. It's really hard to, to line these up perfectly. Like, it's like, it's serious work. Okay. I guess it doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, it does kind of need to be perfect, but all right. All right. I think it's set up again. I've got it. There's just one last thing tweaked, tweaked, and set. Cover. All right. Turning over my piece of paper. All right, you guys ready for this? See if it works. Incredible. Simply amazing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, all the detail is there. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Wait, I should make I should make a picture that has a very wide is very wide resolution. Oh, wait, just a second. Let me make another picture. All right, all right. Let's try this. I have, I have two images here that have a very wide aspect ratio. So maybe if I use one of those, I'll upload it. Yeah, look at that. It takes up like the whole thing, right? All right, let's try that. I'm a little sad that there isn't just like black ink, but maybe that's the whole point. There's like cyan and magenta. You can print things on top of each other, get like two-tone printing going down. I don't know how all that works, but let's do this. All right. Oh wait, I did it the wrong way. Good thing I hadn't primed it yet. Hey, see that? Look, that looks a lot better. Look at that. So you can definitely prepare good files for it that turn out a lot better, right? Just gotta think ahead. Let me try the other image. Hopefully it'll update. Let me having to reconnect. Nope, have to reconnect. But it's not as bad to reconnect when you don't have to manually la load in six different photos. It's just one big photo, right? All right, sorry if I hope that all this beeping isn't too annoying. I really am impressed with how laser printers work all of a sudden. Is it hot? It's not hot. All right, and do this one now. Nice, I like that. Putting in random gobbledygook like that. I want this on my arm. Don't die. Yes. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the tattoo one in there. I can, I don't wanna break it. Do I want to break it? Oh. Tattoo ink. So I'm guessing it will really just... It's not going to start having needles, right? It's just the type of ink is safer for skin or less permanent or more permanent or in some way more intended for skin. And I guess it's pretty cool that you don't have to wait for it to like run through the system or anything because all the ink is just in there. It's quick, it's quick switch. I feel like that's good to go. I'm gonna try the tattoo ink once on the paper. Ooh. Print it on the desk a little bit. All right, this is it, folks. Let's do it. I mean, I mean business. Oh no, oh no. I, I smeared it as I was doing it. It was because this part was touching. Okay, it stings a little bit. Is it too late to redo it? We're locked in. I'm gonna try it again right here, right under it, without trying to touch it. Oh crap. That's so weird. I could see it like lasering down onto my skin. It was just like shooting out there like magic. Watch this. Can you see this? Is it working? Okay, now I just look like a little kid who drew all over himself. Uh, should I get a neck tattoo? 
I'm about to have to go out and meet some people right now. I'm about to wear long sleeves. I li <laughs> One time I did go out and meet some people and I had only, there was some video where I got red paint like all over my, or red, like bright, vibrant red, like very convincing, like, and I, it's very off-putting. Anyways, uh, another light has turned on here, by the way, which I'm not sure what that means. Anyways, what I, what I want to say is, uh, well, let me try out this. I should try out the last cartridge, by the way, see how the red looks. This really doesn't feel great to pop out. Oh, really feels like I'm breaking it. In. I guess this was supposed to keep it from leaking. Like there's like this little seal here that doesn't seem to have been pressed up against it completely. In the perfect world, I guess it would have been. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm just not really sure about this. Like it's definitely not like actually a pen like I would consider like, like uh, that I could actually use for art. Doesn't mean it's not cool and that you could, couldn't use it for stuff, but I mean, it's like not, not like I'm ever gonna add it to my list of pens for pen reviews. So I'm not really sure what to say about it, you know? So they just emailed me like, hey, can we send you our printer fan? I wasn't really sure what to expect. So I was like, yeah, send it. Send it. Obviously, I mean, you hopefully you can kind of see here what's going on. So you could make like 3D art with this. It's a little blurry for some reason. Should I wipe it? Do you think that's a symptom of whatever happened that made it leak? There's like some bleeding or something going on. Oh, that actually did help to wipe it with my finger. That helped a lot actually. So if you ever have, if you get this, ever have any problems, just get a little wipe right there. But know that your fingers will probably be stained for a long time. Let's see if any of this comes off with spit. Actually, so I think the skin stuff probably does come off pretty easily. I'm gonna spray some water on my arm. Oh, I think it washes off. Look at this. Uh, except for the, there's like purple left on there. It turns into green with water droplets. Do you see that? Oh, the purple could be, actually, I actually have no idea what's going on. Like a skin reaction? Do I have cancer now? At least it's... But I guess that's the whole point of tattooing, because it's for like fun, temporary tattoos that you can just wash off. I guess the less temporary part is the little purple remains. I haven't tried soap yet though, so soap could be a game saver there. Now it looks like I have very interesting shaped bruises on my arms, like aliens abducted me and imprinted me with their language. So I don't know. I don't really know how to draw with this, you know? Like usually when I do pen reviews, I, I draw, you know, I test it out by drawing and stuff. So um, am I supposed to do like a big, I just don't really, it's not really leading me anywhere else. But I hope this uh, helped you, was interesting at least. It is, I mean, it definitely looks like a spaceship kind of. Uh, it's definitely got novelty on its side. It's definitely different than anything else I've ever had. There could be other things like it already out there, but I'm not really tuned in, scoped in on stuff like this. So I don't know. It's cool. I just don't really know what to do with it. It's the bottom line. I don't have like a big use for it. I mean, I might pull it out every now and then if I need to like write my name on like a binder or something, you know, but really I would just, the type of guy I am, I would just, use a Sharpie or a paint pen, right? But some people I think really might like this. So, I don't know what else to say. Evebot, right? That's what it's called. Evebot printer pen. Hmm. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Um, my video, I have been a little bit slower on the videos the last like couple weeks because I've been going back to school, but I've still been recording everything I've been doing at school. And uh, I've just been kind of working it, get it working on getting back into like a new routine. Don't worry, I'm still making YouTube videos. 
Still get into it. I've got like lots of pens, just new cool actual pens sitting right outside of the video frame here, which I want to get on, make reviews about. I just want to draw stuff, you know? So we'll get into it. Thanks for watching everybody. All right. Love y'all. All right. See ya.